everyone. Welcome to day 28 of the index card a day challenge. This is yesterday's card. Today I'm going to play with some inks, like India inks. And I've got my little container over here, so I'll get started on that in a second. But I want to gesso my card first, kind of prep it, so it, the gesso will act as a surface for the inks to kind of sit on top of rather than it just soaking into the card because these are not very thick. Also, if you've been with me any length of time, you know we had a little glue stick drama going on there for a while and I put a rubber band around the glue because someone recommended doing that and it really worked for a while. But this morning, <laughs> I came in. I should take a picture. There. That's how my glue stick was sitting this morning. The rubber band is broken. It it was an old rubber band, so, but it was broken and sitting there and the glue stick sitting there like, aha, I broke free. <laughs> you can't contain me. <laughs> it just made me laugh. So, so much for the rubber band idea on the glue stick. Maybe I could wrap it around and tie it. But it, this is almost empty, so maybe I should just leave this alone and put it on the next one. <laughs> I thought I'd share that with you guys. I know if you're new, you're like, what? Who cares about a glue stick? Well, some of us really care. <laughs> no, it was just funny. Some of us were enjoying the little jokes along the way, so. All right, so now I'm gonna put gesso on my paper, and I'm just gonna use my palette knife. I just want a thin coat so that ink has something to sit on top of. Okay, so now I gotta dry this and then we'll get started with our inks. And while this is drying, I will pick a couple of colors. Okay, what I have now is some um, water right here and a paintbrush. This is just a round brush. And I have some green, it's Sap Green Permanent by Liquitex. This is Dela Rowney and it's fluorescent pink. This is Bombay Yellow, and this is Liquitex Yellow Orange Azo. And I've got this out because I may not like this. It may be too light. I don't know. I'm just gonna do some freehand like blobs on my card, and I'm gonna wet my paintbrush, and I'm gonna use the ink as kind of like a watercolor rather than full-on ink. So I might drop a little bit on there, but I'm gonna saturate it with water. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. Actually, I'm gonna dry it with my heat tool and then I'll come back. I wanna dry between colors. Okay, I'm gonna go to the yellow and I completely forgot. I was gonna put like a wash on the card before I put any other marks down, <laughs> but I forgot. So we're gonna have to kind of work backwards. All right, I'm gonna dry this one now. Use a little bit of magenta. This is also Bombay. Gonna move into the green. I've got some watercolor pencils. They're similar to the colors I used, and I'm just gonna play with the watercolor on here for a little bit. Okay, I could wet the pencil a little bit and see if I want it blended in in there, but I don't know that I do. I don't think I do. I might just leave it just like that. I guess I could have used regular pencil for that, but I thought maybe I would activate it. I could activate the center of the flower a little bit just so you see the colors a little bit more, but I don't, I don't know if I want to. Oh, I kind of like it. There's yellow in there, there's red in there, and there's a straw color in there. I 
Change my mind, as you can see. We'll see what happens when it dries. Now I'm gonna dry it. Let's see what it looks like when it's dry and then I'll make a decision about what to do next. Okay, I think I really like this. So I would like to put a little bit of background color on here and I really wanna bring some pencil in. I don't know if I want a dark pencil or not. So let's try regular. Oh, I like regular. I'm just gonna do regular pencil right now. And I'm not going over every line that I've done. I'm just kind of highlighting some lines and leaving the rest alone. The other thing I want, I do want some Stabilo in the center of the flower. This is a Stabilo All pencil and I can activate it with water and get it to act as a watercolor. I'm going to think about a background color. I can't decide between Hope, which is a yellow color by Ceram Coat, or the Pastel Mint by Anitas. I'm really leaning toward the Pastel Mint because I really love greens, but I love the yellow too. I'm gonna try the yellow first and see if I like it. I want it to be very pale, and I'll go over it with the green if I don't like it. Maybe I should have used a watercolor. I'm gonna go grab some watercolor. This is a cheap kid's set of watercolors that I got at Hobby Lobby years ago and it's just Crayola. It's got a real pale yellow in there. See, this is the problem. I should have done this first because now my pencils are gonna smear and everything. Oh well, I hope for the best. I don't want to fill in the flower areas. I'm gonna dry this. All right, while that's drying, I want to take my China marker. It's white, and I want to bring in some darker white. I think I like it just like this. Let me think if I want a word on here or anything else. All right, I went searching around and I found a little phrase that I like and it has a meaning to me whether anybody else understands it or not, so I'm gonna use it. And it says, was it all a fairy tale? I debated on putting anything on it at all, but I took a picture of it with it on there and without it on there and I liked it on there. That's how I made my decision. I'm just gonna go around it with pencil just a little bit. I like it just like this. So we're done. That's all I'm gonna do. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you again soon. So have a great whatever it is and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.